I welcome you all to today's service, the second service. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I say welcome and good morning. Welcome and good morning. Good morning, St. Matthews. How are we today? How are we today? How are we today? Much better. So now, our call to worship is Psalm number 98, and we are reading the first five verses of Psalm number 95. All sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm have gained him the victory. The Lord has made known his salvation, his righteousness. He has revealed in the sight of the nations. He has remembered his mercy and his faithfulness to the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Shout joyfully to the Lord, all the earth. Break forth in song, rejoice and sing. Praises. Sing to the Lord with a harp, with a harp and the sound of a psalm. In starting our service, we are going to sing hymn number six in Bemba. She fue waluse uluakula. Aba kututungurula. So in starting our service, we are going to uh, now join together in the prayers of adoration, thanksgiving, as well as confession. And I encourage you to join in as we thank the Lord, as we adore him, and as we confess our sins. Naisam palamine kuli mwe, mwele sa. Wandi nai sampala mine kuli mwe mwele sa waluse nai sampala mine kuli mwe mwele sa Thanks. 
thank you heavenly father for the gift of life thank you for the gift of friendship thank you for your mercies that are new every morning and that's why today lord we are gathered here to praise you and to adore you for who you are you are beyond anything that we can see and everything that we know we thank you mighty god that indeed in your mercy you allowed us to gather you allowed us heavenly father to be here throughout the week you have been god leading us guiding us and protecting us may your name be glorified you are the ancient of days you are the first and the last and we choose to praise you this morning we realize now that mighty god we are a people who have fallen short of thy glory so we confess our shortcomings today we come as we are lord forgive us cleanse us heavenly father purify us lord with your precious blood in jesus mighty name if we say we have no sin then the truth is not in us but if we confess our sins you are faithful and just to forgive our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness and as we begin the service now lord let the holy spirit guide us through the service to the glory of your holy name let all that shall be done and said in here bring glory to your name lead us holy spirit in jesus mighty name amen thank you congregation we may be seated Holy Cross give us a song followed by Esther Choir and then the Unza Praise Team Wangu Wangu in that order Holy Cross Esther then Lumbanya I mean sorry then Unza
Church. Hallelujah, Church. I just want you to turn to your neighbor and tell them, Afisobolola. Just turn to your neighbor and tell them, say, Lesa Afisobolola. Again, Afisobolola. Thank you, Jesus. Fiali Sobe Ne Shama Lelo Aisa. So bene da die le lo ai sa io bombele io bombele chama te pa con le ca io bombele io bombele sue chama te pa con le ca Soma 
time for the church notices and announcements and we would like to welcome our secretary in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit we say thank you
Chikwekwe, um, who have come to join St. Matthew's congregation. We also did have Mrs. Grace Chirambo, who has returned back to the congregation from where she had traveled to and had given a token of appreciation. Uh, in the second service, we have uh, Mumba Adele from St. Margaret's congregation in the Mpika consistory. She is a student at Onza. Wherever you are, please be upstanding. And if I call your name as a visitor, please be upstanding wherever you're seated so that the congregation can see and welcome you. We also have Nangoi Dorothy from St. Peter's congregation in the Chelston consistory. She is a girls' brigade member. Uh, we also have Yuda Silupumbwe uh, from St. Mark's Congregation in the Nimba Consistory. She's a WCF member and a choir member, and she has returned where she had gone visiting. We also have Miss Christine Nirenda, who is back from Botswana and back from Luangwa, where she had traveled to. Uh, she is thanking God for the travel in mercies that were rendered to her during her travel and has given a token of appreciation. In the same vein, she is uh, bidding farewell to the congregation as she will be part of the team that is traveling to Mioye next Sunday for the induction service that will take place there. Uh, bidding farewell also, we have Mrs. Grace Lee. Liambo uh, from Section 1 and her family, uh, which include her children, Richard and Silas Liambo, as they are relocating to Kabanana. Uh, Unza, please. Visitors would like to welcome you officially to St. Matthew's congregation and to all of us that are bidding farewell, would like to say may you go well and the good Lord go before and after you. In the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, welcome and go well. In the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, welcome and go well. Thank you very much. Uh, Thanksgiving, we have Mr. and Mrs. Kamisa of Section 4 that are thanking God for a blessing of a baby boy and have hence given a token of appreciation. In the same vein, we also have Mr. James Muzumara of Section 5 that is thanking God and he's written to the congregation. I'll quickly just uh, read through his letter to the congregation. Uh, it's referenced, thank you very much. So the contents of the letter are as follows. I wish to express my sincere thanks to the Reverend, sincere thanks rather, and gratitude to the Reverend A.M. Simkonda, the Executive, Section 5, Elders and Family, for the wonderful prayers and moral support rendered to me during my illness and admission in the University Teaching Hospital on the 16th to the 13th of March, 2023. Also, my warm appreciation to all members of the congregation who called or visited me during my convalient months. Uh, may God bless you all. Thanks, Mr. James H. Muzumara. Amen, beloved. Amen, beloved. We thank God for his healing. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. When we celebrate... 
even us, we will experience a similar miracle. Amen. To the brochure, please, if you have your brochure with you. So I'll just highlight, as indicated, item one, two, three. Uh, item number four, minister's office hours. Please take note of the office hours to which the minister attends to us. Uh, we will not be able to have people attend, attended to after the service unless it is an emergency, with that exception only. Then also item number six, please take note. Item number seven, there will be an induction service in the there will be an induction service in the Lusaka Presbytery on the 14th of May, which is next week Sunday, for Reverend Ian Kapembwa in Mioye Consistory. Then also item number eight, kindly take note, Katukumene Leaders Course, which will be on Saturday, 13th of May 2023. Uh, venue and details uh, will be communicated via CTC convener. Then also, when you look at um, the financial section, the financial status of the, sec of, of the church, that is just uh, on your immediate right. As you look at the brochure, kindly note that there were no assessments as, as of last week Sunday. Uh, so we'll take the total of A and B as is in the brochure. So um, the error was um, not supposed to, be, to have been indicated, so we had no assessment obligations last week Sunday. We had 100% remain at the congregation. Is that clear? Is that clear? Okay, thank you very much. Then allow me to wish and uh, congratulate those that celebrated or are celebrating their birthdays from the period 1st to the 7th of March, of, of May rather, 2023, may the good Lord bless and brighten your years ahead. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we say happy birthday. Okay. General notices. So the Lusaka Central Consistory, CDSJ, will be holding a second phase seminar on child protection. And uh, this seminar is, um, the reason for this seminar is to allow the groups that handle children to have more knowledge on issues surrounding child protection, the child protection documents that are available in the nation and are constitutional. Uh, thereby, they are inviting uh, representations from these groups as indicated, so Sunday school teachers three representatives, uh, congregation youth leaders, two representatives, girls brigade, two officers, boys brigade, two officers, CDSJ leaders, three, then uh, men's Christian fellowship, two representations, um, women's Christian fellowship, they'll require two to represent them. And they are saying um, all those that will be representatives of these groups to register their names with um, the CDSJ convener, Mrs. Helen Nimbeli. Then next week, Sunday, Lumbanya Praise Team and Unza Praise Team will be visiting a St. Bartholomew congregation in the Marapodi consistory and hence um, will not be with us next week. Amen, beloved. Then bereavements, uh, during the week we had lost Mr. Joseph Masongo on a Wednesday, 3rd May 2023. He was put to rest yesterday, the 60th of May, at Memorial Park. May his soul rest in peace. Allow me now to invite the Reverend for the bands of marriage. On behalf of St. Matthews, and indeed my own behalf, allow me to announce the bands of marriage for the second time of asking uh, between Mr. Wale Chisaka and Miss Precious Mpande of Section 3. The wedding, the wedding is supposed to take place on the 3rd, uh, sorry, on the 20th of uh, May, 20. 
23 at 360 Convention Center. So if, if there is anything that you know as to why the two cannot come together in holy matrimony, please, you can let me know you, by coming or you come in person and uh, you let me know. Let us keep on praying for them. <laughs> Contamuke and Avant Valley for me morning, I'm off searching, so to a monocle at Polo from Lefis. The Charlo Chava name Pamba. Thank you. You can take your seats. Let us continue to pray for them. Let us take the reading of scripture uh, for now, and then we'll come to uh, the sections section six, seven, eight, nine, and ten for the fundraising. So, our first scripture reading is coming from Isaiah chapter 55 and we'll start reading from verse 8 to 11. Then our second reading is taken from um, Matthew chapter 4 verse 1 to 11 and our last scripture reading is taken from Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 12. Good morning congregation. Our first Bible reading will be coming from Isaiah 55, verse 8 to 11, and it says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain and the snow come down from heaven, and do not return there but Water the earth, making it bring forth a sprout, giving seed to the sower and bread to the eater. So shall my word be that goes out of from my mouth. It shall not return to me empty, but it shall accomplish that which I purpose and shall succeed in the thing for which I sent it. Our second Bible reading will be taken from the book of Matthew 4, verse 1 to 11. And the Bible reads, Then Jesus was led up by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, afterwards he was hungry. Now, when the tempter came to him, he said, If you are the Son of God, command that these stones become bread. But he answered and said, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Then the devil took him up into the holy city, set him on the pinnacle of the temple, and said to him, If you are the son of God, throw yourself down, for it is written, He shall give his angels charge over you, and in their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. Jesus said to him, It is written again, You shall not tempt the Lord your God. Again, the devil took him up on an exceedingly high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their glory. And he said to him, All these things I will give you if you fall down and worship me. Then Jesus said to him, Away with you, Satan, for it is written, You shall worship the Lord your God, and him only you shall serve. The devil left him, and behold, angels came and ministered to him. The last Bible reading will be taken from the book of Hebrews 4 verse 12. And the Bible reads, For the word of God is living and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the division of the soul and spirit and of joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. For the word of God is living and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the division of the soul and spirit and of joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. This is the word of God. Thank you very much for the reading of uh, the word. Section 6. Um, in the first service, uh, the fundraising committee uh, gave us 7,600. They were tasked to give 3,000. 
but they gave us 7,600, a big hand for the fundraising committee. Maybe the fundraising committee wants to add something. Maybe, I don't know. Oh, okay. So we'll go to, maybe let me start with the, the WCF. WCF, MCF, and youth. And then I'll come to the sections. WCF, I was waiting. WCF, then MCF. Mwande tera kukuno ka naamu na festi. Elo na chita announce. Wale tafiaka pepa. Tua sanga pali ubolondolo shufi hapa. So the WCF has given us a 3,000 kwacha. Um... The youth committee, by youth, they were given a task to bring 3,000, and uh, the youth have brought 3,600 kwacha. Natubatu wateleko by youth, for the past, uh, for the past two years, kwale batinga mwa beba, nothing was happening. So Mr. Mukuzunga and all the youth, uh, well done. MCF, I mean, uh, Mamaya and MCF. I will feel like I'm going to talk to the fire. Why MCF? Why are you going to talk to the fire? Why MCF? Congregation, why MCF? Why are you going to talk to the fire? I'm going to talk to the fire. I'm going to talk to the fire. Stewardship, a steward, my stewards, my stewards. Then section six, seven, steward. Ava, ava, no umbali no lovale imini natwa shwinga na ve na to atote la les. Esale mpala imo to atote la. Ama stewards valeta 1,000 kwacha na tuwatu wateleko wa steward. So they just thought, no ways, we are going to do something. Section 6, we go to sections now. Section 6, uh, verse section maybe just for your records, for those who are not in the first service, verse section 1 gave us 5,000. Sec uh, section um, 6, the tag, but we, we gave them a target of 5,000, verse section 6, verse letter 6,000. Uh, is it 760? 6,060 kwacha. Na tubata wateleko 6,060 kwacha. Vali palo wa ava pushamo. Verse section 1, uh, they gave us 5,000 kwacha, so that maybe you can take note. Section 2 gave us 5,000. Section 3, 7,000 kwacha. Section 4, 12,000 kwacha. Section uh, 5, 5,250. But section 7, apata mulembe de apa. So section 7, 5,000 kwacha. A big hand for them. Section 8. So section 6, 6,060. Section 7, 5,000. Uh, section 8. Section 8. Tabaliko wa section 8. Hello, I thought section 8 in the big brother. Ukunto Tosha. Was section eight takut? Machiran totosh. Section nine. Section nine. So was section eight. Banjo at Bakaleta next week. For Banjo at Nabakata Kuka challenge. 
section 9 wa section 9 na tubatu watereko tabale kwa nyana bena nomba le lobatira ifo fya ko angala tatfwae 6050 kwachi section 10 section 10 mwali labati kuli fundraising hello nishkali ingira ka bis mwali mona guys eh mwali mona mwali shana no kushana na achilira ha i hope tamwasha ni ne ka ka bis cuz na imo muri wa kuleka fi uh section 10 Nabena batira nango ya in short notice 3600 a big hand for them Ma ma students aba so aba shire telefere ro kuma sections ni ba 8 but anyway tabafiru wali onse so we we'll take it that there is a challenge and next week they will do the need for nomba idi irefo ya kwa section 8 ifini mo ba big brother poco leta alis mke sefe mlesu nkafe pali we <laughs> we trust you pamope nena ba mcf i know you do a wonderful job so number for to alert tanif na alata mpila na ba section 10 section 10 so maybe you want to add something i know you've been working so hard congregation and that's why today i have i'm a relaxed person because throughout i think the past three months you've been raising funds to you know to to improve the um, the ablution block and uh, i'm glad that as of yesterday uh, the mirrors were fitted both in the men's wing as well as the women's wing so tusunge bwino no mba kuri okuntu kuri we are just remaining in the men's wing the urinals and um, and the showers as well both in the men and uh, and the women so that one is an uh, it's another fundraising we we'll continue next week please i'm still asking for your sacrifice but as for this one i want to clarify like i did in the first service this goes direct or this will go direct to the hall kama ingila muho apapa kati apapa aliba open and we need 70000 plus So please bear with us this these monies that you are raising today are not going to the ablution it's direct going to uh the um, the hall we we'll still come back next week apa ndefo akofe mushi pe kofe pa no no fie mwisa kama kakabalika nemwe mwe mono kufina makumbi mwe kakabalika nemwe good so section 10 If you want to add something there maybe you can still do that wangu wangu I'll ask the holy cross to be singing as verse section 10 vale and then we we'll come to section 8 a section 8 apart from kalyam kwete kulya you do want maybe to add already because next week we will not be doing this so section 10 oh 10 the 9 yes 10 section 10 e padia ya lucy alia bena besta mwabika po kalaka bc kalya mwasenda po na tushati mwalisha na sana aha my students so this will be added to what you have brought already
to see that all the sections have met their targets and um, I can assure you that uh, as you come this Sunday I think by then uh, I want to believe I want to believe 
Tatufikile? Mwachira umfama figures. I can still give you the figures. I have them. Uh, fundraising committee, 7,600. Mweba wakuiki ukuchita adi. Mulia ichita adi uko. 7,600. Um, section 1, 5,000. Section 2, 5,000. Section 3, 7,000. Section 4, 12,000. Section uh, 5, 5,250. Section 6, 6,060 kwacha. Section uh, 7, 5,000. Section um, 9, 5,050 kwacha. Section 10, 3,600. Youth, 3,600. WCF, 3,000 kwacha. Stewardship, 1,000 kwacha. Achan tot. Six or what? 69,160. I to one seeing is believing. So difference in Shinshinga? Yeah? 840. Nala lombako to kwanish 840. You kwanish 70 pin. De lombako fin. De lomba fin. They are back of the Kwan Chef Rivela. So that is today, Fuma, not to shut it by section eight, Nangutabale, not to shut it in Shinai quarter seventy P nine. Contractor are left while. A low one, one, Abala Tampa upon one and owns that in be Tampen Coquim Baden Abalumbanya Mubachate, Akim Benko Balumban, Pactra Bounza Batampi depo, a cabale. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Why some question correct up? Bar section, bar section nine, Shinga? 6,050 kwacha. Not sure what now, you can't know, but 18 feet. And this amount that would be 840, 6,050 kwacha. So correct. Could be section um, nine. Nala lombako, nala lombako for bashtata. Therefore, I'm going to 420 kwach. Now, I'm going 420 kwach. Nish kwasir. Bashtat, I'm going to say, 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 i am going Therefore, I have 420. Now, could you buy 420? Change in inch what's in. Aha. So, by start up. You mean in Kumai? By start up. By in a form of life, I could demand 420. Wang Wang. Mul Wang. By in a four uku. 420 uku. Wonderful. By start the first in the game, I on. Start at 420. By the for 400. She didn't throw it on Fuka when it's cheap, but it's working upon a foot.
data I wanted uh, 420 ilo valanda ti time wa reverend wa shitata 2900 sorry 1p9 1900 ni to a chafu a 420 kuli ba njine. It's like nash fula sana kuli ba njine. Fona nomba ba chile ba de ba de pen na kuchila pa di 420. Ay 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 ay. Wonderful. Uku mule pita koko. Mai mule role shano koko. Ba start koko. Uku ba de taba start. Aha. 2000 kwa chana tuwa 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 kwa start. The Philip we know by name. Two hundred and seventy-eight points. The Vafiki the four twenty. Why did I for once and always have for the four twenty? Let any Bawanza. Ne a mascara felete. Bakana san. Okay. Three three hundred and seventy-eight. Three hundred and seventy-eight. 478 478 number 78 kale baba pela ko 300 kwach Correction could be at start of a start of a much better we know. So, you have a shingle. One pin three hundred. Okay, but soon one at four twenty. One thousand three hundred. But aonga nga ya pwafe service wala haba tumina fewa contract ati wangu wangu mailo muka piteko kuna mpa Tuesday muka leta ma materials you are doing a wonderful job St. Matthews ito teleni niko mwewe na ito teleni actually it's not it's not easy uh, we are pushing beyond our limits lesa tuwari liyoku mipala because we've been having these fundraisings almost every Sunday and uh, sure, let's keep going. Uh, we are almost there. The major issue, Kuli, I will not talk about the whole because again, there was another section fundraising. But with the ablution block, the major uh, a part remaining is the children's wing. We, we still have got some works to do there. But next week, our focus will be on the urinals for the men and the showers in both uh, wings. And then we move to the side. Yaba, yaba. Remember, aba na tuleba fumia mumudia. Those those storages now will be turned into the wings for the children. So we have already at least a toilet pan, a set for the boys, and one set. We need another set for the boys and another set for the girls. So please, let's just hang in there a bit, and I'm sure. By the end of May, nishi not puisha. Baby, niwa neba mtile comfort kui pangila we mwine. Comfort kui pangila we mwine. Baby, niwa mtile safety kui kalapa to ntweke. Na tote la kutumwa ikalaba unze. Now I'll ask the congregation to rise as we join together in the prayers of intercession. And this is how we are going to do it. I will lead. So first, all of us, 
we will stand and pray for for our families we are focusing on peace unity and healing healing of any kind or holistic healing for our families and then we'll pray for the church and the church will start with St. Matthew's we are going to pray for the works that God will increase our works as a congregation as we look at the projects that we have as we look at spiritual growth as a congregation and then we'll pray for the consistory the presbytery and synod and the body of Christ in general we'll conclude by praying for our nation remembering the leadership of this nation our president the members of parliament cabinet ministers civic leaders and traditional leaders hallelujah mwala ilio kutupala cha chine mula pala likala mbeshina yenu imwe mwe Mwala ilio kutuluila chachine mula luila Lika lambe shina yenu imwe mwene sana Lika lamba, lika lamba, lika lambe shina yenu Lika lambe shina yenu imwe mwene Likalamba, likalamba, likalambe shinane, likalambe shinane, imwe mwene. So I want you to join me as we pray for the families together. So where you are, lift the voice, pray for your family, speak unity in your family, speak peace, speak healing to those who are connected to you. St. Matthews, can you pray in such a manner? We thank you, Spirit of the living God. As we pray for our families, let there be unity in our families. We know that a family is a small unit in the nation, but it is of great importance, King of Glory. For it is the family that makes up the church it is the family that makes up the community. It is the family that makes up the nation. So we pray for unity. We pray for peace. And we pray for healing. Father, we are sick as families. Body, mind, and soul. So we pray for your healing. In the name of Jesus Christ. We know that the enemy mighty God is busy trying to attack the family. So we pray that may you build a hedge of fire around the families. In the name of Jesus, we pray that King of Glory, you shall take us back to a point of reconciliation and forgiveness in our families. In Jesus' most powerful name. Let us now pray for St. Matthew's Na tupe pokutila weleza kusha imidi moyobe pachilonga ni nochobe. That which we launched or we set out to do this year. Let us pray that God will be God in our works. Remember, unless the Lord builds the house, the builder labors in vain. Unless the Lord watches over the city, the watchman stands in vain. <coughs> pray for St. Matthews. Father, we thank you for St. Matthew's congregation. This is our congregation. Revive thy works, O oh God, we pray. That which we set out to do at the beginning of the year, we declare that God in your mercy, may you alone arise. On our own, there is nothing that we can do. But we trust you, Lord. We know that when you come through for us, things will never be the same. We pray for spiritual growth as a congregation. We pray that position us, O Lord, that we will be a congregation that will minister and speak the word of God. 
that will be the mouthpiece of many in our community to the glory of your name pray for the consistory pray for the presbytery and pray for the synod and the body of Christ that the church will be the voice of the voiceless that the church will be prop will propagate the gospel of justice the gospel of truth we thank you for the body of Christ in Zambia we thank you mighty God for the United Church of Zambia may we be relevant at a time as this oh God may we be a church that will understand the times and the season and that will be able to interpret the times that we are in correctly to the glory of your holy name let us pray for the nation of Zambia Zambia is our territory Zambia is our territory law we pray for the leaders of this nation we remember the president we remember the cabinet ministers we remember the members of parliament we pray God grant them your wisdom to lead your people in a just way for we know that when the righteous rule the people rejoice thank you for our leaders you've given them a mandate to watch over us oh Lord at a time as this one in a year as this one we pray for protection over them oh Lord and their families in Jesus mighty name we bless you and we honor you now Lord sanctify the offerings and let them be used to the extension of your kingdom we speak a blessing on each one of us, O oh Lord, as we have risen to the occasion to answer the call to continue to build your church. We speak blessings that adds no sorrow. In Jesus' name, amen. We may be seated now. Hallelujah. God is good. And all the time, okay. So I'm um, I'm um, na na imbolumu. I'm reminded of the song, the GB then used to sing at Luansha Town Congregation by then. Ero bale imbolulu imbowati la shishwe na kunoli imbale imba. Ati chebo cha kwa lesa Chile vidi mango mulilo Konse na ya chile vidi ma Kwa tofo ningeo kusha kwa nishile kusha kwa inovu 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 Chebo cha kwa lesa Aha Konse na se chile vidi ma Tapa walo alishwa Chile vidi ma Chile vidi mango Chile vidi mango Hallelujah Na leo umfoluru imboni Shijitifi yaka lumendo Tatula akula So nga wale imba wale shana Wale umfika wino san And we are talking about the word of God today So the theme for the service today is the power of God's word. The power of God's word. Let us say together to emphasize the power of God's word. Kunuma, the power of God's word. Bonse, the power of God's word. Yes, that is our, our, our theme. And um, I welcome you and even those who are following or worshipping with us online. And those who are worshipping online, I encourage you to share uh, so that uh, we can reach out to as many as we can. The power of God's word. And uh, we'll be looking at chapter by chapter or I'll be considering chapter by chapter as we read them in that order 
meaning that uh, we'll be just exposing scripture as we have them uh, today or as we have it today. I was asking or I took trouble to just find out uh, from a few people on how they understand the term word of God. And um, it was interesting. One which I took note, it was very interesting. I said, what comes to your mind when you hear the term word of God? And this person simply said, said the word of God is the Bible. Simple. The word of God is a what? Bible. That was a definition of the word. There were so many definitions that, that, that I got. One gave me to say the easiest way to defy the, 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 the word of God is that which was spoken and the world came into being. And this person quoted um, uh, Genesis chapter 1. In the beginning, Genesis after God created the heavens and earth and then God started, you know, commanding things into being. Let there be, let there be, let there be, let there be. So he says, the word of God is that which was spoken and everything came into being. But I took uh, two definitions uh, that I thought we could uh, ride on today. Uh, I came across this definition one theologian says, a manifestation of the mind and will of God is the word of God. A manifestation of the mind and will of God. A manifestation of the mind and will of God. And obviously, what came to my mind when I looked at this was the limitations that probably as a human being will have. And, and, and uh, especially when I look at God as a spiritual being. So he says, a manifestation of the mind. So I was like, is God a person? Does God have a mind? Does God have a will? And then I realized that he has used the word manifestation. So when God manifests and we interact with the word of God, what we see is what he thinks about us and who we are in him. So I agreed to say it is truly a manifestation of the mind and will of God. Another theologian that I, I took into consideration's definition was, um, he says, the sacred writings of the Christian religion. The sacred writings of the Christian religion. Obviously, he was speaking with the biasness of Christianity. Or obviously, he never wanted to talk about other religions. He was so focused on Christianity and said the sacred writings. So, meaning that the gen from Genesis to Revelation, the New Testament and the Old Testament, and he says, this is the word of God. Yes, I had some questions that I needed to raise and I was hoping that if he was here, I would say, if you say Christianity is a religion, then let's argue because I feel Christianity is more of a lifestyle than a religion. But then we have to move because he says the sacred, he added the word sacred, meaning the holy, the holy writings. Others will call the Bible the holy book. Others will call the good book, you know. In all those, but the emphasis is the sacred writings, the Old and the New Testament, and you have the word of God. But this word of God, or the term word of God, must be classified. Amen, church. So, and in our classification, let's have two parts. The first part is what is known as the written word, as you have it there. Na mkwata Bible. Ok, na labo mshie yapa. Mwisa kama na Matthews. I Bible tuwika apa. Just to symbolize that what is at the center of this church is the teaching of the word and preaching. Amen? 
That's why he have a percent of the Aha. Ngatu wa sende ya ite boli de ya chintamba tu wabika pali ya tu wafumi hapo ibai bonchitela that what is at the center is the sacrament of Holy Communion. Amen? So, as we have it here, ngatu wa tu wa chitafi efi insenda ni bai boini. It is the written word word. And the other word we could use for this it is as it is written is logos. The Greek has this term logos to mean the written way, the written word. So we are classifying it. We are saying this is the first part. So we have it here. It is written. So from Genesis to Revelation. Whatever say in the Bible now we koku mulesa kuchechi the written word of God, God or logos. Amen. Number two, we can classify. The word, okay, for today na lai later kwa apa mwisa kamani. We can also now classify that we have the spoken word. Okay? Or the inspired word of God. We are still dealing with the term a word of God and we want to classify it. First we said this is a written word or logos. And then we have now the spoken word or the utterance, if you want, or the inspired word. And, and, and the Greeks will call it Rema. I'm sure you've heard of the Rema or the Rema word, meaning the inspired word. Now, with the Rema, it is a movement from or oh, the actualization of the written word. So one begins to leave it or one begins to speak. Okay, the easiest example for you to get it is as I am speaking and you are getting, what you are getting is the uh, the, the, the movement, okay, there's a movement. I am interpreting the written and as I speak, it becomes the word and it is there to convict us, it's there to correct us, it's there to teach us. So that which you are receiving is rhema. Amen? Are we going somewhere, church? If we go to the scriptures, Isaiah Isaiah is an example of an utterance if we read it. Because when uh, God speaks, he says, thou says the Lord. So it is a spoken word. The utterance has been made. When we go to Matthew, it is both when Jesus is speaking there is a movement from the written to the spoken. The devil challenges him and says, if you are a son of God, turn this stone into bread. And Jesus says, it is written. So he draws from the written word and speaks and he overcomes. So we see both Rema and Logos. But when we go to uh, Hebrews 4.12 What we have there is the Rema word. The actualization. Actually even the Logos is there. If you want to interpret we can replace the word of God with Logos to mean Jesus himself but also to mean the written word. But then when it comes to the descending of the intents of the heart then we qualify that we are talking about rhema because that is the word now that is inspired you read it and it becomes life you read it and it is alive you read it it penetrates through bones and marrows that is just symbolic or figurative to mean even those things that are hidden the word exposes amen church so let us now look at chapter by chapter and we'll be drawing the lessons. I pray that you'll be taking notes and your Bible will be with you. Isaiah 55, there's one lesson that I want us to appreciate. But first, let us put in context the, 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 the chapter that we have. Chapter 1 to chapter 39, the first part of Isaiah is written when Israel is enjoying life and they are not 
in exile. It's pre-exilic if you wish. And then chapter 40 to chapter 55, the one we have, Israel is in Babylon and, and, and they are raising all sorts of questions thinking that God had forgotten about them. And they are complaining that God had forgotten about the covenant. But when you read 56 to 66, it is post-exilic. Israel is out of, um, of Babylon and their focus now is the rebuilding of the temple and uh, Haggai comes in and other prophets come in but their focus obviously is just to beautify their homes if you read from uh, the account that Haggai gives. But our interest today is Isaiah 55. And in Isaiah 55, we note that God reminds them because they are thinking is forgotten about the, 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 the covenant. He says, my thoughts are very different from your thoughts. And even when I plan, I don't plan according to how you plan. But there is one thing that I do. When I send my word in your lives or in your situation, this word does not return void. And the writer uses a simile. And in this, he uses the rain and the snow. And he says, just as the rain comes down, and falls and waters the grounds and makes the ground to be wet, so does my word. When my word comes, it does not return void, but it accomplishes that which I have sent it for. What are we drawing from the passage? We are drawing the fact that the power that is in God's word is that when the word comes to us, it does not return empty. When it is released, when the word, whether a rhema word or whether a spoken word or an utterance is made over your life, if it is coming from God, it will not return void. It will accomplish that which it has been sent for. Hallelujah. So the power number one that we draw is that the word does not return empty when released or uttered by God. You know, there are times that I don't know if it has happened to you. Now, we call it Bible randomly, but you go to a particular verse, and that verse hits you so hard. And then, Mwamba no Tonga Nadimbi, Mwamba Fenok paper, out of just reading that. What is happening is that God has released a word over your life, and that word that feeling that you have is that moment that God is saying my word has got a purpose you must begin to look at it and say what is it that this word is coming to me you are seated here or you are watching online and obviously you are listening to me speak your, your question must be why is it that I am listening to this word why is it that I am seated in that pew and I am listening to this word the answer is very simple God has got something for you and so he has sent this word. It should not be the neighbor's word. It must be your word. Because to alikuwa taba headmaster ba chevo. Kwa babo mfuila kwa baba namo. Kwa baba kwe bati ngepo ba chiba nga ba umfwa. Na li umfwa kukumole shi mikelo ba bati bebe ni in most cases in mind very, very few people have themselves in their minds Maria Shiyama setting be careful. It's a trap. But when the word comes, it must be personal. Personal. It does not return void. But then when it is coming, church, I want you to understand. And let us take time here. It is a process. And I see this process. Okay. 
I wanted to give an example of snow, but then the big question would be wherever ni kwisa mwai mwene snow. Hello bonse to alambo ko luish ko tontonka. So tie tie de kofi in for line. So when the rain comes, huh? The rain is hitting. Let's take it is in October or maybe uh month and November and there are the first rains. The first rains. Ya umapa mushiri. And then after 2 hours, moya mukumba pala naka. Pala naka. Pala ko sign. But pamulu pala bo, pala bomba. But ngaisa loka na foot, maybe 2 days later, mwala sangati na pana ke, na pana ke lako. What what is happening? First when the rain hits, the water will start going down, down, down. And that is a pro, a process. Up to a stage when the farmer comes to dig the land or tear the land and put the seed to the ground and eventually because it is very wet, eventually the seeds will begin to germinate. To germinate. So when you look at the process, this is a process that is not happening in a minute. No, days, months, and actually four months and then we have the wet ground. So it is the same. When the wet comes, it has a purpose. It will come and it will find crooked ways. You know? It will find weaknesses and so many issues in our hearts. But when we accept it as it comes, it begins to correct. And it will begin to teach us. It will begin to rebuke us. There are times that the word is so painful. I had an experience somewhere. I was preaching. Then, if you don't have to go to the church, I would say, kutwa kumi na moshi akwende na tente mkopo na ali na yai mini na pali banyine fwefi namba no kulanda na basonta no ku basonta ine ndeshi mika fene ne waka ele fie ni ndeshi ta fenchi to yabushi mapepo ni njika di after service ukusankonkela mwila leto tuma message to ama setting ni shite tumunje bele ko fie mwanje bele po fie rather than ukula imini na mwantu emu mwile landa ano nomba nena papa fie Sina bakalipa nefima church fienu na fileka tole sakuno kutira tole koseshwa elo mwamba fyo kutweba ula shan shan eh eh if mwamba ene nista mwanyi sterefe mwanje ba elo asaba mwamba fyo kusokolo lofo nshishi afo nshishi le tulishe ni mo first story to allow why when the word comes it has a mission a mission and that's why when sometimes the word is preached no matter how powerful it is some people may not even get it and some people even go say what was he talking about but others even when somebody comes here and shouts a lot of hallelujah than the word someone will be blessed and say that is my word no when it comes it comes for a purpose and there is a mission it does not just come whether somebody sees something over your life he has not just seen no let us learn to act on it let us learn to respect it and when the word is coming let us make sure that we are attentive to get that word because we never know it is just one word that can transform your life Sometimes you don't even need this that preaching or that teaching so powerful. If you are what the preacher happy ba cause kwa ba pamoja kwa na ukaka ta preacher na upi ba elo na wawa kupela men stabali sensitive tabali kupela na kupela. But wasanga tapa no umfui then kwa ba fe na instead ya kwa ba to feel more relax. Ule landa she ule landa and people say le lota kwa chuo amaku church tabali chuo serious ah ah the word does not return empty it accomplishes that which was sent for imagine israel was thinking god has forgotten about us but it was a promise to say i know the plans that i have and i know that i'm going to water you israel and you are going to flourish again number 2 let us go to matthew number 2 and number 3 let us go to matthew jesus is at the very beginning of his, his ministry Actually, let's say he's just done according to the context. He's just done with his 40 days of praying and uh, fasting. And so 
he's still vulnerable obviously and he's just launching his ministry and then the devil appears and when he appears he begins to manipulate the written word I want you church to take note because this is where we are losing it a lot of us are really manipulated so the enemy comes and begins to manipulate the word and when he appears he says if I, I like the if if you are the son of God let me read now when the tempter came to him he said if you are the son of God command these stones to become bread hallelujah who was Jesus the son of God who was Jesus God himself hallelujah and, but he says if you are a son of God meaning that he was trying to suggest to him or trying to provoke him the word yes is provoking him so that he can you know approve himself that he was the son of God and sometimes these things do happen to us and this is the trap we fall in. No, 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 You have to know who you are. You are a son of God. You are a child of God. Whether you have given him the money or you've not given him. Now, stop manipulating me. Stop blackmailing me. If anything, that is spiritual blackmail. Or emotional blackmail. Here. Here. So Jesus knew. But then he responds because he had the word and he understood the word correctly and in context. And he says, I want the next verse, please. But he answered and said, It is written. The movement now, you see, from the written word to the spoken word. word. It is written. Man shall not live by what? Bread alone. But every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. The rhema that comes. The rhema that you have studied. So he is challenged and he releases the word. And what happens? He overcomes using the word. So deception was defeated in that passage. The trickery of the devil was put in its place. He did not succumb. So what do we draw? We draw number one, which is number two in this case that Jesus knew his rights and he stood on the rights that he had, drawing the authority from the word that he knew. Are we together? When you know your rights, you will never be manipulated. Generally, even as we walk in some bushes, to shishiba, tapadi uka tititikisha. Sometimes, bambi, to la lipira, no fata tfui roku lipi roku li konsoko tulipira, pamula and walk to la tatua ishu in some bushes. Bambi, to la fila feno kula and the pot fui de toal and the because tatua ishiba. But in this case, the word has got power. It reveals who we are, it reveals our rights. Who we are. I, I, like, I like John uh, 1, 12. You can take note. It says, to those who received him. First he came to his own. And his own refused him. But to those who received him. And accepted him. And believed in him. He, became the, he gave them the right to become the children of God. So the word does not just come and accomplish the mission. It, it puts us in a place where we are able to argue and win. We are able to conquer because we are standing in, in, on, on those rights. 
Sometimes we do not pray well or our prayers are not answered because we just pray. We go about babbling. We don't stand on the rights and claim that which belongs to us. Amen. Number two, number, which is number three, from Matthew, we note that the word of God brings about enlightenment. I love this point. What is the underpinning point? In the first place, he knew his rights, meaning that there was a sense of awareness. He knew. He was aware who he was. But here, enlightenment, we are talking about casting away ignorance. Casting away what? Ubutu to kubutamsha. Kubutamsha. So, when someone is enlightened, we're talking about shedding more light. So, someone has got an idea. Somebody has got knowledge. Somebody, if anything, someone with knowledge cannot easily be manipulated. Do you know that? If you have knowledge, nobody will manipulate you because you have knowledge. You argue from a point of knowledge. If you tell a fiabu to do, if you have a fiabu to not if you're not if you're still more not if you're <laughs> mm -mm. not if and okay no by one inch nine I equip seven no banish no ten to land up niche much traffic you were for to study on say not to let you if you're not if you're a color fair why are you doing this? Why do you partake Holy Communion? Don't tell them. Because if we defend it, yeah, you were shan. Finish if you're dead, yeah, you know, we're in Shinga. Allah, Mula, you know, you. Twelve. So if you are enlightened, you go further and you shed light to what you are doing. And so even in terms of the faith, you'll be able to stand and defend your faith because you are speaking from a point of knowledge. You are enlightened. There is no ignorance at all. I like Hosea for success. My people perish because they lack what? Knowledge. And Proverbs puts it in this way, says, uh, zeal without knowledge is foolishness. In an atom of chamber, Ukubilima, Ukwa, Bulo, we shivilo, Kutumpa. The famous Yukutumpa. Nangubu, anyway. So you cannot just have zeal without knowledge. You're all over. No, you cannot just come from there and say, Lero to the Fisha is a keyboard. Ukala pang se chilea. You must have knowledge. So Jesus had the understanding of the word. And so when the devil manipulated, tried to manipulate him, he stood and spoke. Look at what is going on in the body of Christ today. People are manipulated because they don't take time to study the word. People sometimes just come and tell them to say, no ways, uh, I want you to put a seed and you are going to be promoted. And this person is not even a hard worker. And people put a seed there. I want you, when you hear such messages, I want you to quote the word and say, it is written that the Lord shall bless the works of my hands. And you go out there demonstrating that you are a hard worker. Do you know that promotion is a product of hard work? There is no promotion in any area. If you are lazy, forget it. Forget it. Tefia mutifi. Promotion is a product of hard work. Hard work. Ngola bombesha. Imini mo shobesha kula ya pesa. Panta nshile sa kula kui. Akula kui mye. Just like in Christianity, if you are committed to the values of the faith and you are serving God, God lifts. It's not a question of engineering. No, I, I want to come here and, and, and I just want to. In end up, let me say it again. If you want to give me money, just give me. Not if you are calling and they tell us, Reverend Pantu, in the fire, I'm a dozy. Yes, okay. Money business, yeah. They can cost a It is written, God will bless the works of your hand. So go and touch here and there. Go and work. Go and palauka. And God will just bless the works of your hands. 
na ngutaulete le seed god will still bless you he does not need seed for the doors to open your seed cannot open god's door wa dikones na mkomfoko na alanda kada god remains god and doors can still open so i want us to be speaking uh, i was listening uh, on radio and then watu ma eh na chani nalikuwa tako challenge ya kukula shan 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 i'm building but then i have a challenge and then the man of god responds and says um mwisa kama nani mpepelela mensha yo mwe mwitire fe paplot mo ala kula takapusu mwe ke ni fafi okay let's let's just reason for a moment So ukuya itira pa menshi ni foundation ya lanaka ile tuambia kukumba wino na ngunishi some of these things we have to be careful these are just tricks of the enemy i know people don't like this but then i have to emphasize that be enlightened but ikones ukukula it takes planning ukukula it takes investment you have to invest money You don't need to take water from Reverend Simkonda no kia itira pa plot at walata mpokukula. Bufyu. That is a misuse of the means of grace that you are not supposed to be misusing. Ngakukula sit down begin to save money. Elo nomba mule pepale sale mpela wisdom on how that money can go. Remember it is God who gives you power to create what? Wealth. So when you create wealth that's when you begin to build to build building will not take maybe one day it can even take years what is important is for you to start don't just rush because you want this skill okay now is our reverend akaka ndalama na mpela ndefu ayo kukula kudya eh 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 nga mulefu ayo mule pela mwatira fa rupia nde pela ku church elo mwebe ne mwachetekela mwira tubika mubambi mali ashia so because i know that you have to work hard even just like money there is this this i call it nonsense and i'll call it that way there is this where people say i've heard people say you know what i've just received an alert in my phone and i have money there somebody ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, guys ngefyo chali bonsenga twalile ko kubomba bonsenga tu pepafie na ine we ine kunonga nshisa ko because nga mpepafie pakutira fenda la mashire ingira muisa mu phone you have to work for your money o baya bale poka kana psavali shibombele tesha kutira fe ba pepa then shachi njenda la matmira ko money that is witchcraft of the highest order and those who are galibo those who are not enlightened fall to such traps today i want to declare that a time has come for you to be enlightened no ana mera komane kuisa na banana in which economy in which economy don't even tell me that there are kingdom principles which principles in the kingdom of god it is written one has to work umunangani extension chemo chakwa nani he who loves to sleep would die of what hunger chemo chakwa le secho eh so nje man pesa pa di principle ya mira command ngatebulosh ine nka ku mfwemo fye muno at 100000 ya ingila mane laundering i report you kapunda fe bwangu bwangu dek kuno kuli client abana abana babeka la apana kanda mpempula apana apana na yai kala na zi whistle blow kanis ni chi reverend cho bech kuzalile try me i'll do the need you must be in law the word of god brings in law enlightenment study it in context and appreciate it in context ina nsa kama na oksa kama na wanazulu atiyonga na shimike fi tabakale mpela seed ha we shiminda la matu ibila fi abantu elo ina nshile foku wako part of kabola ala na alikuwa ataka lena ina mabu na kea andi lekene saka nsa otingene kupali fi minuti fi ya kumibile nda lamu elo na chinda misha uwa kula shimike fi aso bring a seed bring a seed 
So in the life of a man of God, ngakunista fe suti mule nshitira fe tu ira vika kuishi. So po no to ela ela wa mbikanso wa mbala chite fe nishina wa wish ta wa pela ku endala ta wa pela wa ali wa ta na wa wish ela wa isa kuli ne vale faire ne wa vale pe but scripture it is written eh ona your father mm-hmm. you know you're busy you want to start honoring me first we land the treaty pona ku papa that to the shas so ngakuchula le kentuka chule be enlightened so number three, the word of god brings about in la enlightenment and if you are knowledgeable you not be manipulated manipulated are we together church let us move to the last scripture that we have for the day and we 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 do uh we do what is needed in hebrews what we have here is very interesting the writer also uses the figure of speech when he talks about the bones and marrows and and when you are talking about the bone and the marrow ngashirufienye the marrow is found in the bone not the bone on the marrow if i mean it to amonekela kuti amoka to lefunde fi amara ka shule ebe pa fi the marrow it's remember me fi on point aha so fi danga na be pike na maya ma bone to yamusa mukta Turiyo tumfuika bwino turiya mukati tudia Eshani le maro ai aha then the bone so the bone covers the maro so now these are things that are deep as you see me you cannot see you cannot see the the maro for you to see the maro you have face to go through my flesh mule pule then muse muto be ama fupain you break my bones and then you are going to find the maro now scripture says or the word of god when it is spoken okay when it is released it is so sharp that this word a double edged sword is a sword that maybe when you you do this ngamwache koko no no mwala isa mbwesho no kwine ya la cheka inside so it says now sharper than this because a, a double edged sword cannot penetrate the marrows but this word when it comes it goes deep that is just a figure of speech to me when the word is released and preached in all sincerity and truth the word comes with power and it exposes the word descend is to expose it exposes the intents of the heart and it makes us discover the state of our heart and that's why when the word comes sometimes it is painful and people complain and say nge fibale elanda a na chingila na chuma palya recently i attended uh, a prayer meeting somewhere and this man of god taught the word the word of god powerfully na ile kulya na ale yumfwa shuma pepo batelo na ale fuma mulya na ale fuma fe ngomu lumendo kawaya waya because ichebo chali wo cha left right and center nelo nale umfana nale umfuka kwati ndangala feta pa ba fi onshita and i was moved to pray because the word came so deep and touched the very areas of my life so the writer says this word descends that is number 4 that we note there when it comes it descends and to descend is to expose the intents of the heart let me emphasize on the heart the heart is deceitful do you know that if anything scripture says he who trust his heart is foolish ah it's been gonna turn a foolishness she don't have any foolishness if i learn the proverbs what you take your mind to work with adi tumba moelo eh mayo umutimale lo kutu waka nechi chidachi na ule kana echo okay side umutima chelelo ocho ule sula lelo echo the next day umutima okafwa the heart is deceitful in its ways but it says when it comes it exposes the intents it brings things bare 
In other words, nothing is hidden when the word comes. And that's why we must allow this word to saturate us or we must be soaked in the word so that every weakness is exposed and when the weakness is exposed, then we will be helped. Mwalishu wafi nangukua afuirisho muntu, kutu mwafuirisho afyo usu mine ukutila refu obu afuirisho. Umuntu ulefi pangana nguna afi mkwa selala na tindifyo wino ita mwaka mwafu. Chimona counseling. Ifuwe nga ama counselors, takuwa boku patikisha, imwe isei ni imwe, imwe mke se counseling. Tet, ukalala anda, alelo shana mala, kanufiomu ine chamule itale, chamule itale, that's and therefore you are, you are finished. So now meaning that when the word comes, the word exposes the intents of the heart. And we discover the state of our hearts. Bambi, where we are today, I don't know. Maybe we don't even know the state of our hearts. There's so much going on, so much confusion. You don't know about tomorrow. You don't know what decision you must take. You don't know if you should be a yes or no. <laughs> you don't know if that is the right one or allow the word to shine. Because when the word shines, it will expose and you'll be able to know the truth and you'll be able to have direction. So, it is not just the word coming and it's spoken. No. It is something that will open us up. Therefore, I'm working shape. For the word of God is living and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the division of soul and spirit. And, of, and joins and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of our hearts. Our men do come all in both dikones. Remember, atumu tuwa mu nove chalo chimbi kutna ikalo lelanda na kukanisha le kutuka kutna ikala le kulo le kesha kanish na kusula tuwa sango muntu na fuka maso. But my tongue can't even say I'm inina. Kwa baba fukama but na wachacha ni na. Elo kwa bana we inina but na wachacha ni na wafukama. Um. Nombeche bonga chai sa fiance whether na fukama la mo ala monika. Ine 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 there's something that I've seen. Kwa baba bantu ambiku sa muniyanta you step on them. Pa. What comes out is an insult. Elo baisa vika kona sorry. Mm-mm. Deaconess, if your father, because out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So, if your baton tongue, I have an hour, I can't talk about tongue and insane. Ninse, that when I when I saw a man say, Minyan, he moved at the blue safe. I held him. Hello, Mr. Move me to the school. Hello, and insane that that mistake. Oh, well, Takwa, if you, if you're more, if you're more. You've been just exposed because I've stepped on you. Pain has exposed you. So that is how the word must expose. Expose us when it comes. It must expose us. Our weaknesses must come. Jesus. 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 So take time. Study the word. Let the word expose you. Let the word pierce in your life. Colossians 3.15 says, let the word of God, no 3.16, let the word of God dwell in you richly in psalms, in teaching, and in singing. In other words, when we say the word to dwell, it means the word has to have a permanent play, place. We speak, we speak the word. We eat, we eat the word. In context, not just for the sake of we have to be it is written it is written it is written it is written amen hallelujah St. Matthews the word has got power to transform us that is my last part so when you look at all these and you look at all these scriptures when the word has been released and it accomplishes the mission it will leave a mark of transformation. 
It will leave a mark of Watson Matthews. Yes. If it comes, you will feel okay. Yaloka, Yafika, Punch Pala Monica, Apache Volukungulala, Papala Womba. So when it is released, yes, to not return void, it leaves a mark of transformation. When Jesus knows and stands on his right, if you challenge the enemy using your rights in God, transformation will be there. On your part, and in some cases, even on the part of the enemy. When you are enlightened, transformation still be there. There's no way you are going to spend five years at Unza. Ule tontonga ya kwatu limu grade seven. Nishkatu ishiwe. And sometimes it's embarrassing, guys. Iimola iche. Osanga mule ichi tefifia. Fin bi fin bi. For sometimes it's a papa no papa. Is education taking place? Or they are just schooling? I want to believe in my little research there's a difference between schooling or being schooled and education. If anything, all of us sit in class to be schooled, but what remains is education. Okay, Nilanda sana, kutna ilanga, kutna ilanga ignorance, muli wa teacher, muno wa nyimbir, tuwa mkupisha mo data. But what remains, if you don't want to tell all this ambidira, ukusa ambidira, teku berenga berenga, nifi defi asha, ifi asha alamo, nifi achita conduct, no fresh school ya mwa lulula. Not ama grades a lady. Ah ah. Bambikula batu ba lady. Ama A plus, A plus. But weka lefe na bantu. Buwele wele weka weka. So you might expect transformation to take place. The moment you started studying. Nga mwa yaku mindo lwa dikones u se. But watu mfila kufi olu se. The first six months. Nga mwa ya. They will be okay. Ngawaisa mku belenga Bible, wambo kubelenga watila wa senda Bible, watila uh, uh, le, uh, Matthew, uh, uh, let us turn our Bible to the book of Matthew. First six months, they will forgive you. Second semester, they will not forgive you because Matthew is not a book, it's a gospel. Let us read from the, the book of uh, uh, Hebrews. They, they will not forgive you, Museko Ndiye. Because now this is an episode. So you should be saying those things. But let's expect that the transformation must start. We should have a license. Transformation has taken place. Taken place. Of where you have a life. And it has to be in all this, not just the way, but even the way you live. You have a life. You for example, transform, transformation. I'm not demeaning you, but we've seen transform. There's a way about no coup of a feel about behave type of thing. No to all you put more of <laughs> ah, to pusha, pusha ba diko ku marriage guidance niwa nan. To kambo kufa idi kishamata langizali ko. To zambo funsa, ero tatu koko la. At ba di upa ba ya? Ba di upa? Ero tuke sevi kapat. Na wa nangu ba di upa matu ba di fuma kuband. Nishina tulanda. So even when the word comes, people must see transform, transformation. Listen, everyone is supposed to come to church as they are. If they are in prostitution, let them come. Come. They are drunkards, let them come. They are chain smokers, let them come. In that state, let them come. But when they come here, when, and the word is preached day in, day out, week in, week out, there must be that process of transformation. We must begin to see the fruits. You are 50 years in the church and then you are behaving as if you are not behaving. Seventy years. But if you are not going to 24 hours. Watch the behave. No. 
the word must come and bring transformation kwa bana baswata bana ba reverend baranga ba mimi nokushimika bala funda na balia na balia namba okay ukukonza kuli balia na balia mwaliumfwa imwe mule moneka sha e bala kwa tukushapo fe fionzo fo land bana bran le le bana lumbula fe pala ngizi pa fe ndifonzo fo ndombo ile fe wisa land fe pala ngizi yo ah bana bran bana mpanga fira fira nga wesa seke shapo e So you just look at the comical side of my life. There is a word to be followed. May the good Lord help us. Amen. Let us now go to the last part of our communion and um I will invite the elders as